Can this little device significantly improve all your audio? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this, so cool. This is the IFI Hip DAC. And obviously it's designed to look like a tiny little hip flask with this really cool blue color. But what it does is way more interesting than what it looks like. And what it does is it's a digital analog converter and headphone amp. What this means is that you feed audio source into this and it makes it sound a whole heck of a lot better. Now, modern devices have built-in DACs, but they're not very good. Like the DAC you get on a smartphone, it's just one of many, many chips on a tiny little circuit board. So imagine that tiny chip replaced by all of this smart circuitry. Now, this is powered by what's known as a Burr Brown DAC chip, which is like this great high-end chip that does all sorts of processing and it's tuned and designed just for audio. So it does pretty cool things. Now, this works with high-res audio, but it also works with PCM up to 384 kilohertz. It's DSD up to 256, DSD, DXD, and Tidal up to master level audio quality. We'll come back to Tidal sound in a little bit. But suffice to say, this thing can handle really massive waves and frequencies and output. It's like way more bandwidth than any of your devices can handle. By comparison, a typical device nowadays on CD quality is giving you 44 kilohertz. So this is tens if not hundreds of times better than that. Really, really nice. Well, maybe not hundreds, but tens of times better than that. And on one side, you have the charges via USB-C, which is nice. The input you connect via a USB type A female plug. So it's a little bit different. So the end of those plugs look a little bit chunky like this, right? So it actually fits basically over the connector. So that's a little different, but it comes with cables. Then on the other side is all the user controls. The middle dial turns it on and then that's your master volume control. And on the side you have, and it's conveniently labeled power match X base, and then you have an interesting 4.4 millimeter balanced output, which is great for like studio speakers and stuff. Um, not a lot of headphones do 4.4 millimeter balanced, but that's okay because right next to it is a regular 3.5 millimeter jack too. You can use either one, it's gonna work just fine. And the way this all works is that generally speaking, you plug the input into whatever you're listening to, and then you plug your headphones or maybe speakers, but generally it's gonna be for headphones. You plug your headphones into the front of this and then use the volume to adjust it. If you choose to use the um, power match, it actually figures out what the impedance of your headphones are and it matches the amplification so that it sounds the best it can possibly be. That's pretty cool. And then X bass, as you imagine, gives you a little bit more bass line. I didn't find I needed it because I'm using such nice headphones and giving such high bandwidth quality audio that it just sounded just glorious, just gorgeous, gorgeous sound. So, reminds me, let me tell you about my headphones. So, these are the Biodynamic DT1990 Pro Studio Monitor Headphones. If you're gonna do something like this, you really wanna have decent headphones. It's not gonna be really such a great experience, although it'll still be really good, but the better your headphones, the better it's gonna sound. And the better your headphones, the more you'll be able to catch the nuances and detail that this brings to your music. So, battery powered, 2200 milliamp hour battery gives you 12 hours of listening. There's a teeny tiny light that shows you your battery status. Easy enough, plug it into a USB-C and it charges right up. It is really small, four inches by two inches by half an inch, and it's four and a half ounces. So you will barely notice you have it because it's designed to be mobile like we are. So if you wanna use this with your smartphone, you can do that. So for example, it comes with three cables. It comes with that USB female to USB male. So that's easy. I can use this to plug it into a computer, for example. It also comes with, let's see, let's get the right cable on um, this one. So also comes with the USB female to USB C male. And that's the one that I've been using actually. So that one I can plug in and then I can plug it into, for example, my Google Pixel 4 XL 
And now I have a portable DAC that I can use with my phone, even if I'm sitting at a picnic table or on a walk, right? It's a little bit more clumsy maybe than having some tiny inline thing, but really you're doing this because it's the audio you really want. Now, what's nice is that because I have a USB-C MacBook Pro, I can also use this with my MacBook and I can get audio out that way too. So that's really handy. So you can hook this up to a computer, you can hook this up to a mobile device. If you wanna hook it up to an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad, you will need to get Apple's what's known as their CCK adapter. It's lightning to USB female. They call it their USB photography or um, photographic gear connector. But it basically looks like this in white and it's about 30 bucks at the Apple store. You can use that or you can just go straight off of some other gear, whatever. So those are included and there's also USB-C to regular USB and that gives you the ability to charge this device. But I found that if I just plugged it into the same charger I used for my MacBook Pro, charged it right up and didn't have any problems with that. So that was nice. But that's all words. What does it sound like? So I tried a whole bunch of different configurations. I was listening to Spotify and YouTube music off of my Pixel. And I've been listening to a lot of different music off my MacBook Pro. And that's where Tidal comes in. So Tidal is this high-end streaming music service where they have higher quality masters. And in fact, you can go all the way up to master or MQA level music, and that has just a huge amount of bandwidth. You need a pretty good connection to be able to stream that. But man, this thing detects it and it sounds glorious. Now what's fun is when I turn this on, on the front, there's a green light. That light actually changes colors to tell you when you're on a higher bandwidth frequency. So when I plug it into my phone, it turns blue to tell me that this phone actually can output DSD. Does it output DSD on the different sources I tried? No, because there's some level of work involved in getting most of these devices to actually do higher bandwidth, but it's not that hard. And the IFI website gives you some good tutorials. With my computer, it was much easier. So on my computer, I basically just plug the whole thing in. Oops, lost that cable. Oh well, not that far to fall. <laughs> I plugged it in and then plugged this into my computer and then I went into Tidal, which is a subscription service. And on Tidal, I chose the master audio quality level. And then I plugged my headphones into the front of the device in the 3.5 millimeter jack. And let me go ahead and get some music playing here and I'll get Tidal up. And not hugely a fan of Tidal. It's just yet another streaming service like Spotify. But what is cool about it is that it does have those higher levels of audio quality. So what I found is not every single track has that option. So you basically bounce around and try to find, so you can see here in this close up that you have normal, high, hi-fi and master. So master is really where you wanna go. And when you have a track that is in master format, then for example here, Let's see what's going on here. This should be giving me that different color, as you can see in this close up. So, really cool. It's just like all of this stuff, it really, you don't have to worry about it. You just listen. And in fact, speaking of which, let me listen. What's happening here? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. It really sounds great. I mean, that's, you know, the whole sort of point of all of this is that you're getting so much more sound out of whatever source you're listening to. And of course, the more data there is in the source, like a master level title um, track or something, then is there's so much more detail and clarity and lushness and soundstage that really I was just finding myself closing my eyes and just zoning out and just enjoying music that I've listened to for years. But there's so much, so much there, it's really nice. Which leads to the obvious question, all right, well, if I don't have all this fancy Tidal subscription service and I don't have a super high quality audio system, is this still worth the effort? 
And the answer is, yeah, it really is. Even just listening to Spotify or listening to iTunes or something, or even just the audio off your favorite movie or something, if you run it through this, it's just going to be bigger and richer and fuller. It's going to just sound really cool. And absolutely, 100% of the time, I would recommend you use Power Match. It makes it louder, but more importantly, it just makes it richer, which is really a fun experience. X-Base, eh, you can go either way. If you really like that thumping disco dance hall sort of sound, then this can really pump it up a little bit for you. But most music nowadays is mastered that way anyway, so you probably won't need it to get the sound that you want. And yeah, good headphones are gonna be a nice match for this particular device. But I am absolutely a fan. I already like the IFI gear, but so far IFI gear I've looked at has been really amazing circuitry and not so great design. And this one, as you can see, this is a beautiful little device. This is something where if you put it down like this, people are gonna be like, well, what is that? That's really interesting looking. And then you can explain it's a digital analog converter and it does all this great stuff for your music and people will be very jealous. So really cool stuff. The only thing left to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. It's just that little red button. Tap it or click it. Great. Now I'm going to unplug. And this is the IFI HIP DAC. And it's $149.99 at Amazon.com. And it's absolutely worth checking out and worth getting. If you're into really nice sounding music, if you're an audiophile, if you miss your beautiful Wi-Fi or, sorry, beautiful hi-fi system when you're on the road, this brings a lot of that joy back. So definitely worth checking out. And if you're using it off of an iPhone or an iPad, you will need to additionally purchase the appropriate converter or adapter, but that's only like 30 bucks, not a big deal. So definitely check this out. I'm gonna hook this back up because it's been really fun being on video, but I'm going back to my music. <laughs> so I, let's just get this all hooked up. There we go, oh yeah. I will catch you in my next video.